And we are back with breaking news about the midterm elections. NBC News is now projecting that Democrats will maintain control of the Senate. The state of Nevada has just put them over the top. NBC News now projects that Democrat incumbent Catherine Cortez Masto has won the race for senator there. That call comes after Democrat Mark Kelly was projected the winner in Arizona. Those wins give the Democrats at least 50 Senate seats enough for them to maintain control of the chamber since Vice President Kamala Harris will provide any of the breaking votes. Control of the House of Representatives has yet to be decided. Republicans have a small but not insurmountable lead. Ali Rafa has more. Tonight, a sigh of relief for President Biden and his party, winning control of the Senate for two more years. The press and the pundits are predicting a giant red wave. Uh, it didn't happen. With at least 50 seats and Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote, Democrats now control the upper chamber, regardless of the outcome of Georgia's Senate runoff slated for December 6th. Are you ready to do this one more time? They said we're in overtime. Holding the Senate gives President Biden and his party control over the legislative agenda there, and critically, judicial confirmations, including if another Supreme Court seat opens up. And if the Democrats keep Georgia and hit 51 seats, they'd have more power over key committee assignments. Meanwhile, Democrats' defense is dwindling in the House, where Republicans are inching toward a narrow majority. But historically, the party in power tends to lose congressional seats in the midterms. President Obama lost six Senate seats in 2010 and nine in 2014. The GOP already assessing what went wrong. Some Republican senators using the loss as ammunition against their leader, circulating a letter this week calling for the delay of next week's closed-door leadership contests when Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is expected to easily win re-election to the position he's held since 2007. The senator saying more time is needed to vet possible candidates, despite no announcement by any GOP senator to run against McConnell. And looming over all of this, former President Trump, who some within the party blame for propping up weaker candidates. President Trump had to insert himself, and that changed the nature of the race, and that created just too much of an obstacle. Trump set to announce another bid for the White House in just three days. Nearly two dozen House seats are still up for grabs. Republicans are much closer to reaching the 218 needed for control, but Democrats say don't count them out just yet. Jose? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.